what's up guys welcome back to another video so today i'm going to show you how to gereference without uh, using coordinates uh, we're going to use uh, another tool inside uh, an arcgis software that is called a spatial adjustment tool so uh, let me just quickly open up the arcgis software and uh, uh, if i add data so you click on add data button and then navigate to where the data is stored uh, mine is inside uh, desktop so i'm going to open up this uh, kitui county shape file so this is the shape file and uh, let's say i want to do some changes let me make it hollow and then increase uh, the outline width to something like three or four and then i'm going to make the color to let's change it to something like blue like so and then okay so now this is the shape file and uh we want to use a, a special adjustment tool to georeference uh, this shape file now uh, let's say i want to add uh a satellite image so that it can guide us on on the georeferencing process or on the control uh, how to add the control points that can be used that will help us to georeference the shape file so in order to add a satellite image uh, go back to that uh, add data and then click on this uh, small down arrow and then click on the add base map so basically what we're doing we are adding base map over this uh, shape file and then i'm going to actually choose the imagery with labels so we add satellite imagery with the labels and then click add so depending the speed of your internet it's going to take uh, some time So you can now see that uh, if we this shape file is called Kitui shape file. It's a, a, a shape file for Kitui County. If I open up the attribute table, so the nothing there's nothing much, and the, the country is Kenya, uh, so nothing much inside here. So and you can see that. Uh, the source of this uh, shape file uh, did, does not actually uh, when I, we, we have added a uh, set an image you can see that uh, uh, the shape file does not align properly with the what we have on the set an image and the process is the same whether you're using let's say your referenced uh, uh, topographical map or you or whether you're using another uh, shape file that is uh, quite well georeferenced so let's say that now we want to align this uh, our shape file our kitui shape file to the correct uh, position you can now see you can see the uh, position of this uh, kitui county on the uh, satellite image it is quite quite conspicuous so we are going to use that special uh, special adjustment tool and uh, at the top here uh, there's you can see that they don't have that uh, uh, special adjustment tool in order to add it just place your cursor at the top here and then anywhere just at the top and then right click and then it's going to open up this uh, long list of uh, the tools another way i think is to go to uh, customize and then go to tools this is another way you can access the tools the toolbars then uh, scroll down you can look for special adjustment if you're not seeing it uh, place the cursor at the bottom and see if uh, the list actually scrolls by itself so you can see now the special adjustment is here so just click on it to add and you can see now it's been added at the 
at the list of the uh, of these other tools now you can see that everything in the spatial adjustment is grayed out it is grayed out because uh, we are not in editing session so the first thing we need to do before you uh, you proceed with uh, especially adjusting this shape file is to uh, start editing uh, session so in order to start editing session uh, go to editor again if you don't have if you, you don't have special uh, editor tool here uh, go back to the win uh, the customize toolbar or just right click at the top here and then find the editor click on it to activate it so uh, in order to activate uh, just click on editor tool and then uh, click on start editing and now we can see that uh, we are now in editing session and uh, everything now uh, is uh, is activated in the special adjustment so let me just pull it let me pull this uh, special adjustment somewhere here somewhere here so now the first thing that we need to do is to set everything to set the tools inside the uh, special adjustment before we proceed now uh, so under this uh, special adjustment just click on it and then uh, we are going to set num the first thing that we need to set is to set adjust data click on it and then uh, you select you can see that uh, the first red button, the radio button is selected, and uh, that's not. So select the second one and then choose. If you have a list of all, a list of uh, other share files, choose the ones that you want to specially adjust. So mine is Kitui. I'm going to select it, uh, and then click OK. And then another thing that we need to set is the adjustment adjustment method. So there are, I think in this one we have at least five. So you can actually go and research about them. But uh, the one that we are most interested with is the transformation similarities, this one here. So just click on similarity. I repeat, adjustment method is transformation similarity. Make sure that you select on it. And then now everything is set for, uh, special, for adjusting the uh, shape file. Now, uh, the second, then uh, the next step is to add the displacement link. Now, uh, click on this one, this one, the second uh, I icon. This is the displacement link. So click the link and then choose the corners that. Uh, for for example, you can see that this corner here. Uh, uh, it's the same as this one here so click on the vertex of the shape file and then move the cursor to the location that you feel that point belongs click there you need at least three so another point that uh, we can conf confidently see is this one here uh, I'm going let me just click on that one first then take the cursor to the right position and then third third point click on that and then I believe it belongs to this particular point uh, and if your snapping tool is not working actually just right click again and go to uh, snapping tool and then you can select the snapping uh, uh, objects that you you want to use so if you want to deactivate or activate let's say age uh, vert vertices all those ones so go ahead and do that and then uh, let me do uh, this uh, let me do this one here this one belong to this particular point and then lastly let me uh, move this one I think I believe this one the correct position is here now I think you have enough points so 
for accuracy purposes uh, you need more points so you can continue uh, adding more links to your uh, share file so now when you are certified you can now uh, check the or you can view the link table you can just click on view link view table and then look at the residual errors and everything and if you think that uh, everything looks good go back to uh, special adjustment click on that arrow and then click adjust you can see now the our shape file is now properly aligned with the how it's supposed to be on the in regards to the uh, our base map our satellite uh, image ba base map so let me increase this uh, outline width so that uh, you can now see that uh, our our shape file has been uh, georeferenced properly in regards to the uh, satellite image or the base map that we've just added so this process is the same if you have another uh, properly georeferenced uh, shape file or any other let's say a topographical map that is is uh, well georeferenced you can use it to georeference uh, another, uh, another shape file so with that being said i think this is the end of this tutorial uh, see you in the next tutorial